And so we, uh, we went out in the car, and before I could get the engine started, this five foot two, 104 pound little beauty looks over at me and says, uh, do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? I never heard anybody talk like that before. Nobody's ever asked me that before, certainly not in the Catholic Church on Sunday morning, you know. And uh, I didn't know what to say, so I said, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm Catholic. And about a minute later, she said, uh, she came from a Pentecostal family. She said, do you speak in tongues? I didn't know what she was talking about. I'd never heard that before in my life. And I didn't want to disappoint her, so I said, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. And I couldn't figure out what she was talking about, but I knew it was something spiritual. So about two more minutes go by, and I wanted to ask her a question. But by then, as a good Catholic growing up, I didn't know what tongues was. I, I wanted to ask her, but I couldn't remember if it was tongues or lips. I knew it had something to do with the mouth. It could have been gums for all I know. So I took a chance, and I said, so, uh, so do you, uh, you speak in lips? And she started laughing, and she realized that I didn't know anything of what I was you know, claiming that I knew. Well, that night, she shared with me about her relationship. We went bowling, <laughs> of all things. She, she started sharing with me that night about her personal relationship with Christ, and I never heard anybody talk like that. And something about the way she talked and the affection she had for Jesus really spoke to my heart. And I realized that what she was talking about was what I was searching for. In all my books on the Eastern religions and meditation and, and all of that, she was the message she had and was living was what I was what I was looking for. And so over the next uh, several weeks after school, I'd go over to her house and her mother would sit at the kitchen table and open up an old Schofield Bible and begin to talk to me about a personal relationship with Jesus. Now at that point, I'm not thinking at all anything like, well, this isn't Catholic or I got to leave the Catholic Church or uh, this is foreign. I just thought, here's a family that's really serious about this and I, I'm not familiar with that and I like what they're talking about. Make a long story short, it was uh, just a few weeks and I was leaving her house and going back to my folks, and uh, it was about an 11-mile drive. And I got about halfway home, and I pulled over on the side of the road, and I just started crying. And I was 18 years old, and um, long hair, went to all the parties, had backstage tickets to all the major rock concerts, but, and I was empty. And I was empty, and I didn't have answers. And I pulled over, and I started crying, and I put my, my head down on the steering wheel, and I just said, Jesus. I said, I, I want what the Toblers have.